So today I'm going to tell you about Manage Actual. Manage Actual is there for re managing uh, your repositories, your profiles, um, enabling, disabling packages, um, doing things like installing cluster SSH. Um, there's even things like this. Um, this is for migrating from a legacy mass installation um, over to actual, so it sorts out um, all of your sort of existing config and just sort of makes sure everything goes across smoothly. So yeah, there's there's lots of stuff in here that you can do. When do you use it? Well, that's kind of a stupid question given what I've just told you. It's when you want to do those things. Um, <laughs> it's written in Bash, and that may seem slightly surprising at first because uh, actual is written in PHP, and then actual is a programming language which could do stuff. Why on earth would I then go and do this in Bash? And the answer came from two parts. One, you can break an actual installation, and the tool which is there for managing that actual installation should not be broken um, when uh, when it comes time to try and fix it. So therefore, it shouldn't be written in actual, or at least shouldn't rely on that actual installation. If it was going to be um, using something other than the actual installation, maybe it's got something embedded, or um, it's like it's uh, compiled in, or something like that, suddenly that increases the complexity far beyond where it was um, uh, at the time when I wrote it. Uh, it could probably get there with not an immense amount of work now, but it would still be, it would still take some time. Uh, why is it not written in PHP? Because this is all about file system stuff, and I know how to do that much better in Bash than I do in PHP, and I was largely writing this on a plane and on buses, on trains, and that type of thing where I didn't have an internet connection uh, to go and look up what I didn't know. Uh, finding commands. So you've probably noticed by now, all I'm doing to see what uh, they are is just typing manage actual by itself, and it goes, well, hey, you haven't asked me to do anything. Um, what, uh, what would you like to do? And so then it lists out all of these different things. So let's uh, say we want to get some help on, um, let's say repo install, because that's a function which um, you'll probably use a lot if you're going to do some development. Okay, and you just, uh, all, all I've done is I just uh, ran uh, manage actual and then I just did uh, repo install afterwards without putting any parameters. It says, well, hey, you haven't given me all the parameters I wanted. And so then it goes and explains um, what it is and um, uh, what all the various parts are that, uh, that it takes. Um, and then it gives some examples of uh, things that you can do with it. One thing to bear in mind is that there are some things which don't take any parameters and so they will happen instantly. You can actually, behind any command, you can put in minus minus help and that will display the help for it. Uh, and it's just the commands when you don't enter sufficient parameters which will work without doing that. Um, so if I now put this in, um, I need to put in sudo for this one. I wonder if I go at get update. So I just had a little dependency problem in at, uh, in at there, so um, I just fixed that. Um, so here is one that doesn't take any parameters. Uh, we can just, uh, so here I'm just going to install cluster SSH. Okay, yep. Uh, this works in Ubuntu and probably Debian derivatives. It works um, on the Mac if you have brew installed, I think it is. Let's just quickly find out. Yes, um, so if you have brew installed on the Mac, then you can install uh, cluster SSH with that. Cool. Um, I think that is about enough of that. Um, if you have any questions, then uh, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them, and that may end up uh, resulting in a new video. So the uh, more specific you can be in your questions, um, the better. Out.